back to taking stock on CNBC TV 18. Uh, this is the uh, show where we tell you what happened in the week gone by and how to prepare you for the week ahead. Uh, it was a strong week actually, 1% uh, higher for the Sensex and the Nifty. But the Bank Nifty and the PSU banks were the standout performers ahead of a very busy week. Uh, uh, GDP numbers, credit policy, uh, non-farm payroll numbers uh, from the US. So busy week ahead, Rima. Yes, indeed. So let's uh, prepare you and position. How should you position yourself? We are now joined by Siddharth Bhamri, the head of equity derivatives at Angel Broking. Hi, Siddharth. Thanks so much for joining in. Through last week, we saw the Nifty move in a very tight band of 7,800 to 7,900. What's your sense? Which direction is the market likely to break out? Hi, um, if you see a uh, week gone by, uh, we have seen some bounce in market from lower levels. Uh, thanks to you know Friday session where we have seen uh, banking stocks doing well uh, but if you look at uh, most of the components uh, of this uh, index they haven't added significant form uh, long positions at the same time if you look at the liquidity uh, parameters from uh, FIS perspective they have been playing more on the option segment they continue to sell in cash market even if you look at the uh, you know uh, USD INR situation, uh, we were trading at two years low uh, uh, in terms of our domestic currency compared to dollar, which doesn't occur well for uh, incoming liquidity into our markets. Uh, we are not very optimistic from positional perspective in December series as of now. Uh, this series would be quite eventful, right in. Uh, you know, first week we are seeing monetary policy, which may not be a very big event, but then. Uh, Come you know mid of December series, we are all talking about uh, U.S. raising interest rates and liquidity moving more towards uh, that market. Taking all these uh, things into consideration, and uh, we aren't seeing much formation of long positions in uh, FNO segment. Uh, we would suggest that not to get carried away by what bounce backs you saw in last week, and especially in Friday's trading session where banking did well. I think they may not sustain. You have very strong resistance in Nifty around 8100 to 8150. Uh, we may try to reach to those levels. Th mind you, those are not very far. Uh, so first half of December series, we may try to go towards those levels. But uh, that resistance should hold. And from those levels, one can again initiate fresh shots in this market. So then are you not even optimistic on the banking stocks? What are the key levels on the bank Nifty, for instance, and any strategy on individual banks like Bank of Baroda or the others that moved on Friday? So Bank Nifty, uh, we are thinking that this uh, counter, I mean, so this index uh, should take strong resistance in a range of uh, 17,600 to 17,800 zone and should not move above those levels. Uh, so we would suggest, you know, to... Uh, be cautious and not get carried away. Uh, Bank of Baroda and other PS, uh, PSU banks, they have shown you know good move in last couple of trading sessions. But again, we are not seeing formation of uh, long positions over there. Uh, not specifically in Bank of Baroda, but we have traded in some of other private sector banks uh, and that is on more on the negative side and especially ICICI Bank. Uh, again, in Friday's session, those stock did well we didn't observe any formation of long position. In PSU space, SBI again, you know, we haven't seen formation of long positions. All the rise is happening because of short covering. So these two names are quite prominent uh, in our list where, you know, we would sell on rise in banking space. Uh, well, um, Siddharth, Tata Motors DVR has rallied about 50% in the last uh, two months. Do you believe its up move is done for now? Uh, any strategy there? Uh, so we are a bit cautious here again. Uh, what we observe that uh, DVR has slightly outperformed in last series compared to Tata Motors uh, by three and a half four percent. At the same time, we did see huge formation of long positions uh, in November series, uh, and stock uh, the underlying was going up. Uh, strangely, the rollovers have not taken place. Less than seventy percent rollover. Usually, Tata Motors and Tata Motors DVR see eighty eighty five percent of rollover, and that's the norm. 67% around uh, rollovers in Tata Motors DVR suggests that long positions have not got rolled over. Uh, this is a high risk trade. We would suggest to short at current levels of say 300, 302. Uh, fixed stop loss somewhere around 309. We don't have very aggressive price targets, but I'm expecting 280 to 79 to come in this counter. Okay, the other sell call that you have is on Just Style. Now, this is an underperformer. It's down 30% this year. How much lower can it go? So the stock has been in news uh, more to do with uh, you know what it's doing in capital markets uh, than its business, uh, and uh, we have seen that 
there was huge rally sort of which happened from lower levels of around 750 to almost 1000 rupees uh, we did see some formation of long position but the last leg of rally was purely because of short covering and there was this news which is going on that you know companies planning a buyback uh, i don't think so uh, this news can enable stock to continue to go up the way it was going friday session we did see you know some uh, correction we did see formation of short positions as well so i am suggesting to go short again this is a high risk trade short at current levels uh, i am expecting just that to come to 853 odd levels fix the stop somewhere around 981 and go short on the buy side you see upside in wipro so if you uh, look at uh, large cap it stocks infi and tcs have uh, uh, underperformed and uh, wipro has been flat in november series so what we are seeing is uh, formation of long positions in wipro at lower levels uh, those positions getting rolled over as well uh, 550 555 uh, in this range stock has very strong support uh, and we are expecting counter to move above the recent resistance of around 570 575 uh, which can take this counter to probably you know near to 600 odd levels 598 is the target price so go long at current levels in wipro in it space with a stop of 558 the question everyone is uh, asking has pharma stocks uh, uh, as a category and uh, you know drl and sun pharma in particular bottomed out uh, no they don't i feel you know they have not uh, bottomed out yet but uh, do they have uh, same amount of downside which they saw answer to that is also no so case in point uh, two stocks where you know uh, people have seen more pain is dr reddy's and sun pharma uh, here we have seen short getting piled up and they've got rolled over too but there will be a point where you know market starts correcting and people will start searching for defensive names and the people who are already short in these names like dr reddy's and sun pharma would probably move towards high beta names so as a contra buy probably you know you can wait for a week or two and then start nibbling into Sun Pharma and Dr. Reddy's. So if, if you ask me if I want to form fresh shots in Sun Pharma and Dr. Reddy's, then I would say no. So there are two stocks which have done well in the last month are Gale and m, &M. Uh, Any trade left there? Uh, Gale, again, you know, because of the news uh, related to gas pricing, uh, the stock has done really well. Uh, I really wouldn't have view on this counter because it's uh, vulnerable to news. Uh, though we have seen huge formation of long positions and rolled over to, I won't suggest any trade. Uh, my technical team has just generated a contra <coughs> sell call on m and on various technical parameters. Uh, whereas in FNO, we did see, you know, stock did outperform last series. Uh, I don't think so stock would uh, outperform in current series as well. So I would suggest be cautious in m and rather than uh, getting carried away uh, by the outperformance in last series. And how would you view Reliance Industries after the big up move of last week? So uh, Reliance has been going up without any formation of long positions. And uh, we did see that you know whatever positions uh, which were there post results uh, there was a gap up opening and uh, most of the positions were long positions. After showing some correction and covering that gap Reliance has again started moving up. It would be difficult for uh, this counter to, you know, sustain above 1000 levels. Uh, I would suggest profit booking in Reliance rather than going short at this point of time. And if stock comes to say 960 odd levels or say 950 odd levels, then short strangle can be recommended. Moment, you know, we are reaching towards mid of December series, you will see that IVs will go up because of the event which we all are talking about. And so would IVs in Reliance and around 950, 960 short strangle would be recommended uh, in Reliance Industries because I'm expecting a range bound movement in this stock. Thanks a lot for that uh, Siddharth. Uh, well, uh, let's move over to Agam. Uh, Agam, uh, tell us what are the key events that we should watch out for in the coming week? 